Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the TSX220 frame which was sent to me from Neil Cody at iDrone. Now you can buy this frame in two variants, obviously 220 but also the 250. The frame itself is made from a 12 carbon fiber and is based around the 1800 milliamp LiPo. Or if you're carrying an action camera like a GoPro then you would use a 1300 milliamp LiPo. So let's see what else we've got in the box. As you can see, we've got the version 1.1 power distribution board. And you'll probably notice that there's a five volt regulator already pre-installed onto the PDB. This will help power your flight controller. We also have four arms in the box. Because I've chosen the 220, I get shorter arms. If you go for the 250, you'll get the longer arms. That's the only difference between the two machines. The body of the quad itself stays exactly the same. The main body of the frame only has two sections, top and bottom. This saves on weight and cost. These plates are 1.5mm and the arms are 3mm. Also included in the box is a very high quality rubberized battery strap. It's nice that they included this. Now all of the screws, standoffs and bolts do come in a little bag but as you can see mine has burst open and had gone all over the inside of the box. But fortunately the way Neil Cody packages the quad and ships it out to you meant that I didn't lose a single part. So let's throw this frame together and see what it's all about. As you can see I'm threading the 10mm screws through the power distribution board, arm, out the bottom plate and then securing it with a nut. You will only want to do the outer screw holes, not the inner screw holes. We'll move on to those now. Provided in the kit are four 20mm screws. These will go through the bottom plate and the power distribution board. We will then add the small nylon standoffs to these screws. It should then look like this. And you can add your flight controller to these standoffs. You can then screw the mid-sized plastic standoffs on top of this. And once that's done it should look something like this. At this point you can then go ahead and add the last three large standoffs. Two at the front and one at the back. The TSX 220 and the 250 come with many conveniently drilled holes. These are for your FPV camera and video transmitters. Use the remaining screws to hold the top plate on. And this is what the finished frame looks like. I haven't tightened all of the screws and nuts up yet because I will be taking it apart and doing a full build on it when I add my ESCs and motors. I'll probably go with something like a 2204 2300 kV motor and some 5 inch props, maybe some 5x4x3. I only have two concerns with this quad. One is the plastic standoffs which I am not used to because I've always flown with the aluminium ones and the other being the power distribution board and its shape because it's an X shape and it actually spreads out down along the arms. I'm wondering if a big crash would break an arm and possibly the power distribution board, but this is yet to be seen. Luke Bannister, who is one of the best FPV pilots here in England, actually uses this frame and he used it at the UK drone show on both Saturday and Sunday and won both events. So if it's good enough for him, it's going to be good enough for me. I'll put an annotation up on the screen so you can click that and go to the UK drone show video that I made last week. So that's all for this short introduction of the TSX220 video. Thanks for watching guys, I'll be back soon.